What's up everyone? I'm back in Iceland and I'm in the Highlands. That's right, and I'm at Kaldakrisk and we're gonna be fishing this lovely hole. What's up everyone? This is Kentanak of Wish for Fish and I just came back from Iceland and this was my first unsuccessful destination trip and it was bound to happen. Unfortunately, it was in Iceland. This is where I go to chase trophy brown trout and I had to take a page out of my own book and you know, I set my expectations so high every time I go to Iceland. I just had to soak in the experience and not dwell on the fact that I didn't get the 30 inch brown that I was chasing and a matter of fact I didn't get any brown trout at all. Luckily Iceland is accepting US tourists right now but you do have to show either that you've been fully vaccinated or that you have been exposed to COVID in the past. So once you arrive in Iceland you do have to take a PCR test in the airport and stay in quarantine until you get the results of that PCR test which usually takes around four hours. Although I thought I was being the experienced traveler and went straight to the duty free shop and bought a SIM card and placed it into my phone. Now when I put the SIM card in I did receive this text message and read the first line and thought to myself hmm my phone is registered so I'm still good to go and was receiving text messages from the United States which also made me believe that my phone number was still good to go. After waiting for several hours, I started to question the fact that this was working or not, and I put my old SIM card back in and received this text message. So who knows how long I was waiting there, and all because I didn't read the second line of that text, which is very important. Now on this trip, everything for streamers, I was using my native Baron XF8 weight and everything for dries and nymphing, I was using my six weight Thomas and Thomas Sextant. Now as for the reels, I was using the Able SDF in the six weight and the SDS in the eight weight. As for lines, I was using Airflow and I was using the Streamer Max Long for streamers as well as the new Saltwater Power Taper for the eight weight and the Power Taper for the six weight as well. Now for the week, I was with Fish Partner and one of their guys, Mats, picked me up and we decided to go to this new place which was, of course, completely blown out and we only managed to catch one fish or let me rewind that, Mats only managed to catch one fish. So we decided to leave and go straight to Thingvaklavaten which we then proceeded to get skunked for the next three days uh, and it wasn't for the lack of trying. And that's the funny thing is the first year I was there in 2016, I was very successful with very little knowledge. And this time I tried everything from fast sinking line to floating line to fast retrieve, slow retrieve, double handed retrieve, you name it from small flies, big flies to uh, my flies to their flies. <laughs> And it just wasn't happening for me. I mean, some of the fish decided to nibble at my streamer and decided to fully bite it. And Mats finally did manage to pull a fish out of the lake, but it wasn't one of the monsters that we were looking for. And that's the thing about chasing these trophy trout. It's not a numbers game and it's all about the right timing. You just gotta love this crazy wind. It's so awesome to cast it, let me tell you. And that's the thing is that this winter was a very short one and I also got smacked with a cold front. And those are two factors that I really can't help on a destination trip. We were starting to think that they were not even there. We were stripping streamers all through the section and then all of a sudden we see this. Yao. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Uh, we had some risers. Oh my God, he, oh. All right, I'm switching flies. I'm switching flies. Oh my god, that was so big! Uh, I see a bug on the water. Right near my fly. Oh, I broke him off. I broke him off. He just broke me. Ew, dude, that's, that is not wise. Renegade, baby. Mm. Ah! 
He broke me. Yeah. I barely set the hook, dude. I barely set the hook. As for the dry fly action, of course, by the time we finally cracked the code, our time on the beat was over and we had to give it up. About the only thing I was looking forward to was the meal at the end of the day. Now, after getting skunked for three days, we literally decided to go to the Highlands just to catch fish. The Highlands fishing is a must. It's absolutely beautiful and surreal. You feel like you're fishing on another planet and you are able to catch Arctic char and brownies as well. So here I am in the waiting room. Got a heater, just drying out the waiters. So you gotta love a good waiting room to keep your stuff dry for the morning. So I'm at the Highlands cabin. Let's take a look inside. Some of you might have remembered when I ate some shark, I was standing right here. This place, it's a little different now. Oh yeah, look at this. Updated bathroom. Ooh. Look at this. Showers. You got some toilets here. To show you our room that we're staying in. Look at this mess. Fortunately for you, I can't capture the stink in this room. Now in the Highlands, I was eating fresh char appetizers and fully catered and full course meals, and it was wonderful. <laughs> and I'm at Call the Crisk, and we're gonna be fishing this lovely hole. Oh yeah, you can see the char uh, roaming around in some of these lanes right here. See my first one, right in that rock right there in that little Cool, you can see it from here. Ah, it's another one right there. Two in that lane, up, oh, we just moved back. There's plenty of fish here. This place is awesome. You're sight casting to these fish. I was using an indicator and Matt's was using tight line. And we ended up catching about 14 fish between us in an hour and we had a blast. that right in the kisser double baby Woo. So we decided to go upstream on Kaldekrisk to chase some brown trout and of course even while I was up there I managed to have one pop off after a couple head shakes. This doesn't suck, that's for sure. Since we didn't have a fly fishing shows this year, I haven't seen my friends in over a year and a half, so it was good to see them, but I had to say my goodbyes and go back to the lake and hopefully have one more chance to land my brown trout. But unfortunately, we came up empty handed and I fished through the night and went straight to the airport. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Don't forget to check out our website at wishforfish.com. And if you're on social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. And I'll see you on the water.